they can't forget you. You're all ready for this. Who has the best sense of humor? You. Who's the swaggiest? You. Who does things like none other? You. Who? You. That too. <laughs> See, this is why they can't forget you. Because you do things in a certain way. You have a certain aura. You have a certain way that you carry yourself to where it's memorable, to where it's life changing, to where it leaves an imprint on people's lives for the rest of their lives. And when people mistreat people like that, they never forget these type of situations, right? Imagine or think back to old situations, whether it be females, friends, family, before an example, okay, say with a female, you deal with your first little female, your first love, 16, 17, 19, whatever, right? You may not have the experience that you have as a man. So you may cheat, you may lie, you may do certain things, right? And you get what? You get cut off, right? And it teaches you as much as a person can love you, as much as you guys could be like this, when you wrong people and you do things wrong, ain't nothing like getting cut off and it hitting home in a way to where you're like, dang. They really forgot you. They really, you know what I'm saying? Their memory has been wiped. You've been deleted from their slate. Not that they didn't love you a month ago, but that they didn't feel for you a month ago. But people love themselves first. People value themselves first. And when you wrong people and you give people a justified reason to bounce, of course, you're going to be the one that misses them. And they're going to be the one that moves forward like nothing happened. So as soon as I started seeing things like that, I'm like, ooh, ouch. <laughs> you don't love me anymore? <laughs> you know, you're 19. <laughs> it's like that. You forgave me twice, but not three times. <laughs> but no, you learn, bro. You learn. Ain't nothing like things hitting home and people moving forward that may have been valuable in your life, whether it's a young age, whatever age that you may have experiences, and they're gone because of your wrongdoing. And you miss them. You replay memories in your head. You replay good moments. You replay your wrongs and how you could have done better, right? And this is what these people are doing right now, whether it's friends, family, women, men, whatever the case may be. You are so valuable. And the way that things ended and the way that they had to leave your life was they were in the wrong. So, of course, you're going to be nonchalant and calm moving forward. Of course, you're going to be confident moving forward because you don't let things hold you back that are out of your hands right that's the whole point of you being you and you being burden free and giving things to lord jesus you learn how to let things go you learn how to forgive you learn how to move forward right you learn how to not stagnate yourself by emotions that aren't even supposed to be your emotions. See, when people do you wrong, first time, what, shame on me, second time, shame on you, third time, I don't even know, but they shouldn't even get to a second, third time because your discernment and your value system is so high, right? Your relationship with God and your relationship with yourself is so strong that you don't allow people to mistreat you and stay because if you do at that point it's your fault because god already told you who they were god already told you what they're up to god already told you their slimy grimy ways and their foolish ways and their envious ways concerning you so if you know this and you're aware of this you did a great job by moving forward and you see how much your lack of awareness kept you stagnant, kept certain people in your life that didn't need to be there. But now they're gone and now you're wanted. Now you have abundance. Now you have everything that you wanted and everything that they expected you to never have, right? And it's not just them that you leave that imprint on. It's this whole world. And this is why Lord Jesus is using you to make an impression on this world, to make an impact on this world, to make change in this world, 
right? To make change in people's hearts, teach them how to be confident, teach them how to be loving, teach them how to secure that relationship with Lord Jesus and the Most High God. Teach them how to value themselves by making others value them. You can't force people to value you, but you can remove yourself and that's going to make people respect you enough to value you by default. You can't force people to respect you, but you can handle your business and focus on what you have going on. And that's going to allow people to respect you by default, right? You don't have to try to do certain things that you could receive by just doing what you've been doing, bro that you can receive by just continuing to handle your businesses and everything else will be added on to you exactly how Lord Jesus said, right? As long as you keep doing the work that he's telling you to do, moving in the way that he's telling you to move and providing for the people and giving back to the people that he's telling you to give back to, you're going to be fine because you're walking and talking and moving in obedience. And this is what makes you so authentic. This is what makes you so valuable, so rare, so unforgettable. People don't know what it's like all the time to go to God and get their personality. They get their personality from the world, which is what makes them dull, which is what makes them mistreat people and think that it's okay, right? It makes them feel like they're King Tut or something, like they run this world in a worldly sense, because they'll never run this world on a bigger picture because we know who runs that. Because we know who runs that. We serve him. We praise him. And everything else gets added on to us because we know who runs that. We continue to stay obedient and move in ways that create progress for our lives. And we leave the past in the past because we know that's why they call it the past. <laughs> Cause it already passed, right? <laughs> so we're gonna keep that there, right? And the more that you continue to push, the more that you continue to move, you're not gonna have to worry about who remembers you or who can't forget you because you're going to be so occupied with the blessings that God has for you. You're going to be so occupied with the future that God is blessing you with and the destiny that he's putting before you, right? You're going to be so focused on the purpose that he's called you to partake in. You're not going to worry about the nonsense. You're not going to worry about the haters. You're not going to worry about the doubters. You're focused on what you need to do. And your mind is fully invested into the kingdom of God. And it's going to continue to stay that way. And as long as you stay that way, understand that all the people that left, all the people that abandoned you, all the people that didn't believe in you, all the people that felt some type of way about you, they're all going to try to come back in and make their way back in because they see you are king. They see you are queen and they see you know how to move on and not depend on others because you love yourself and you love the most high God. And it shows in how you carry yourself. It shows in your aura. It shows in everything that you do in life, how you talk, how you walk, how you move. And this pleases God. Why would you want to move in a way to where you're just like everybody else and people could just forget about you by tomorrow? Not like you're like, oh, I'm walking around. I need to be remembered. People need to know me, man. Yeah, like it's me. No, you're doing it in a natural way by being kind, by being loving, by being supportive, by just being real. 